inflatable plastic balloon satellite, 100 feet in diameter, tall as a 10-story building, will be sent aloft folded accordion fashion inside a 26 and a half inch magnesium container. The latter is mounted in the nose of a three-stage 92-foot Thor Delta rocket. Highlighting one of the nation's proudest days in space, the satellite called Echo-1 will serve as a reflector for radio waves that bounce back to Earth, paving the way for a new kind of worldwide communications. The rocket at Cape Canaveral carries the balloon and 30 pounds of powder, which will turn to gas and inflate it at a height above 1,000 miles. At 5.40 a.m., the launching. Then the tense moments while the rocket goes through the separation of the stages. It is only the second launching for the Thor Delta, and as shown in this animated visualization, it is living up to the expectations of the space experts who say it functions almost perfectly. With extremely precise guidance, it is placing the balloon satellite almost exactly into the desired thousand mile high circular orbit. Thirty-three minutes after launching, the balloon is released and inflated by the powder inside, which turns from a solid into gas under the sun's temperature. The big balloon, visible like a bright star, quickly bounces a recorded message by President Eisenhower between stations in California and New Jersey. And here in Washington, the chief executive listens to his own voice as it sounded when bounced from the orbiting satellite. It is a great personal satisfaction to participate in this first experiment in communication involving the use of the satellite balloon known as ECHO. This is one more significant step in the United States program of space 